Welcome to the spoken tutorial on basics of shell scripting. In this tutorial, we will learn about system variables, user defined variables, and accepting user input via keyboard. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with Linux operating system. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website, which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system and GNU Bash version 4.1.10. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. Let us start with an introduction to variables. Bash variables provide temporary storage for information. These variables can be used within the lifespan of the program. There are two types of variables, system variables and user-defined variables. System variables, these are created and maintained by Linux Bash Shell itself. They are defined by capital letters. Commonly used system variables are Bash version, host name, home, etc. Let us open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Now type set and press enter. This will display all the system variables. Alternately, you can type env or print env to view all the system variables. Let me clear the prompt. Now type echo space within double quotes dollar sign host name now press enter the host name of the system will be displayed now let's find out the full path of home directory type echo space within double quotes dollar sign home in capital press enter the full path of user's home directory will be displayed now type echo space within double quotes home in capital. Press enter. This will display only the home not the value of home variable. So it is necessary to use dollar sign at the beginning of every variable to display its value. Let us switch back to our slides. User defined variables. These variables are created and maintained by users. It is always a good idea to avoid uppercase for the names of user-defined variables. This makes it easy to differentiate between user-defined and system variables. Switch back to our terminal. Type username equals to sign Sunita. Please note that there should not be any blank space between username equal to sign and Sunita. Now press enter. To display the value of variable username, type echo space within double quotes dollar sign username. Press enter. This will display Sunita on your terminal. The value of a variable can be unset. Let us switch back to our slides. Unset. The value of a variable can be unset by using the unset command. The syntax for this is unset variable name. Let's use the previous example where username is our variable. Switch to the terminal. Now type unset space username. Press enter. Let us check type echo space within double quotes dollar sign username. Press enter. Nothing will be displayed on the terminal. This means that the value of variable username has been removed. Now switch back to our slides. Global and local variables. In shell script, user defined variables can be declared globally or locally. By default, all variables are global. This means their value remains the same inside and outside the function. 
Let us learn how to declare variables globally and locally. Switch to the terminal. Type gedit space g underscore variable dot sh space ampersand sign. gedit is the text editor. g underscore variable dot sh is our file name. And ampersand is used to free up the prompt. Press enter. Type the code as shown here in your g underscore variable dot sh file. Let me explain the code now. The first line with the hash and exclamation symbol is a shebang or a bang line. Username equals to Sunita is the user defined variable and it is declared globally. Echo will display the string outside the function. And dollar $Username will print the value of the variable username. This is how we define a function in Bash script. We will discuss about functions in detail in later tutorials. This is the body of the function. Here, another message inside function will be displayed along with the value of username. Here we call the function. This is our code. Now let's execute it. Come back to our terminal. Let me clear the prompt. First we need to make our file executable. Type chmore space plus x space g underscore variable dot sh. Press enter. Now type dot slash g underscore variable dot sh. Press enter. Observe the output. Outside the function, username takes the value Sunita. Inside the function also, username takes the value Sunita. This is because username was declared globally outside the function. Next, let us learn how to declare a variable locally. Type gedit space l underscore variable dot sh space ampersand sign. Press enter. Type the code as shown here in your l underscore variable dot sh file. Let me explain the code. The code is same as before except for an extra line of code inside the function. Inside the function block, we have a line local space username equals to jack. This assigns a new value for the variable username locally. Now switch to the terminal. Let's make the file executable by typing chmore space plus x space l underscore variable dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash l underscore variable dot sh. Press enter. The output is displayed. Outside the function, username takes the value Sunita, whereas inside the function, username takes the value Jack. This is because username is assigned this value locally within the function. Now let us quickly see how to get user input via keyboard. The read command is used to accept input from the keyboard. It can also be used to assign an input value to a user-defined variable. The syntax of read command is read space hyphen p space within double quotes prompt. Please note that prompt is just a string that waits for user input. You may replace it with your own string. Now switch to the terminal. Type gedit space read dot sh space ampersand sign. Press enter. Type the code as shown here in your read dot sh file. Let me explain the code. In this example, input is given from the keyboard by the user. This is the bang line. Here, hyphen p displays the prompt without a new line and takes input from the keyboard. The user input will be stored in the variable username. Echo command displays the message hello and the name entered by the user via the keyboard. So let us execute the program. Come back to our terminal. Type chmore space plus x space read dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash read dot sh. 
press enter. Here it is displayed enter username. I will type Ashwini. Press enter. The message Hello Ashwini is displayed. Ashwini was assigned as an input value to the user defined variable username. Let us go back to our slides and summarize. In this tutorial we learned system variables, user defined variables and accepting user input via keyboard. As an assignment, write a simple bash program to get the following system variables pwd and log name. Write a simple bash program to ask username from user. To exit the program, if user does not enter anything within 10 seconds, hint read-t-10-p. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial teams. This is Ashwini Patel from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.